Hello everybody, this is Hopper aka Cameron and today uh, I've been playing a lot of Terraria and I decided that I would do a YouTube series on it because I've kind of been neglecting the channel for a while uh, and I kind of just want to do something. I've been playing Terraria with a few people but every time that I play for a while I get bored of it so I'm hoping that by doing it by myself I'll have more control and I don't know I just feel like it'll be more fun but at the same time I don't really like doing it by myself without somewhere to display it so YouTube is the perfect place for that so yeah I'm not amazing at Terraria I'm all right. I am. I usually don't use a mouse with a laptop, but since I'm on my laptop and it's pretty much impossible to play Terraria on a laptop, I'm stuck on a mouse plugged into a laptop at the moment, which isn't amazing. But what can we do about it? And yeah, so. Let's get into it, I suppose. <laughs> right, so I've already put in the name and the seed. The seed is obviously a good website that you should go to. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's. I, I, I was considering doing expert, but I feel like the only reason that I'm good in expert at the moment is because I'm doing it with so many people. So, yeah, I'm going to stay with classic. <laughs> and corruption is just what I'm used to. So, I could do crimson, but I literally know nothing about it. So, yeah. Also, you might see us reading the wiki a lot, because usually I rely on people. And I've never really played Terraria by myself legitimately. I've just done it like like sandbox, I suppose. I mean, I guess Terraria is sandbox anyways. But you know what I mean. <laughs> anyways... Uh, enough with all of the talking and let's cr but, 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 <laughs> okay just create the <laughs> all right right okay I was confused for a second there because I was like, wait, is it just like not made the world? Also, um, yeah, uh, I am going to have to blow part of this out, but uh, <laughs> you can see that, uh, just ignore this, but I have played Terraria for a while, but not for a long time. I've always done large worlds, though I never understand the point in doing like medium or whatever. Uh, except for here, apparently. But, <laughs> anyways, YouTube series. And we begin. So, I guess first things first, we've got to get some wood. Um, I guess that's the first thing in any sandbox game, I suppose. At least any sandbox game that I know of. Which is pretty much just limited to Minecraft and Terraria, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe. I guess, can Terraria be classified as a sandbox game when it doesn't have like a creative mode? I think it still is, technically. It's open world at least, but like you can edit the terrain, which I believe is pretty much enough to classify it as a sandbox game. I think. I don't know. Also, um, something else that I thought I'd, would be worth commenting on is I don't really follow the story of Terraria. I mostly just like terraforming and making the world amazingly looking and easy to travel around. Um, but I do like finding cool things from like defeating bosses. So Terraria is a good game. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to collect the money. I mean, not like I would go anywhere, but. <laughs> you know. Well, you don't know, maybe, but I don't know. <laughs> so I guess this is what the store.hubrelector.co.uk seed looks like. How amazing. I don't 
don't like these trees, they're ugly. I don't know why they spawn in the plains biome. Well, whatever you could call the normal biome. But at least they don't drop like custom wood types or anything. I do like that they've added food though, even though all I do with it is just sell it to NPCs. You'll find us selling a lot of things to NPCs and then finding out that I need it later. I don't know why I'm so addicted to it. I guess it's just because like... Maybe it's Terraria trying to teach us that I'll be a future businessman that realizes that he's just sold something that he really needs and then goes bankrupt. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think this should be way more than enough wood for now. I should really just focus on making a house real quick. So let's make a little flat area house in also a lot of this video is going to be time lapse because I grind a lot in Terraria whereas most people like to do lots of different things so yeah, I'm not sure if anybody's going to enjoy this series, but maybe if you're watching this you'll enjoy it, so keep watching and if you don't enjoy it then feel free to click off, it's not like I'll care, maybe in the inside, but just, you don't need to know that, you can just click off and it won't hurt my feelings, I, I, I promise. <laughs> Um, anyways, enough of my bad acting, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this should be enough area to make the house. Uh, way more than enough, in fact. But I'm going to continue anyways. <laughs> like I said, I terraform a lot. And I don't know why. I just enjoy it. I'm a grindy person. Even in Minecraft, one of my favourite things is just to grind the hell out of the game. <laughs> Whereas most people just like to make amazing structures and like master redstone. And I'm just here terraforming and uh, grinding stuff and mining a lot more than any normal human being does. So, yeah. <laughs> I really need to get used to using the scroll wheel for this, but I'm so used to being on a laptop and not having a mouse plugged in that I just use the numbers. Anyways. Just gonna grab these sunflowers because they're pretty useful. And there's a lot of mushrooms there too, so I'll grab them. Also, it's worth noting that while I chose a custom seed, I've never seen this seed before, so just that's just came to my mind that some people might think that since I used the Seth seed, I'll know what it is, but no, I feel that this is the first time I've used this seed. <laughs> Usually I just let a random one choose, but since I was starting the video on that screen, I thought I'd put something there. <laughs> This is boring, I should probably start doing something else. Well, boring for you guys, but I'm enjoying it for some reason. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the pickaxe to get rid of that slime, because it's probably better than that short board anyways. Alright, anyways. Time to actually make a small little house. I'm not sure what type of house I'm going to do for this. Not sure if I'm gonna do like a sort of hotel thing, or if I'm gonna do like a cave house, like an underground house, or if I'm just gonna do like a minimalist house. But we'll see, I suppose. Not so I know that I said that I'm about to do that house, and then I started terraforming again. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is with terraforming, but. It's enjoyable though. 
Ah, you stupid worm. Yeah, the pickaxe is definitely much better. Right, anyways, I keep saying that I'm gonna go terraform and then I don't go terraform. So, I, I shall go do it now. I'm gonna try and center it perfectly on spawn. So, it's one, two, three, four, okay. So, that should be it. No. There. That's a bit too far. There. No, that's... That's perfect. I'll just use this as a marker. And then I think I'll just do that. It's already night, bruh. I haven't even made a workbench yet. <laughs> right, I'll quickly make a workbench. Oh, it pauses since I'm in single player. Huh. Okay, that's good. I guess. Yeah, I need to quickly make two doors. Please, that one there. That one there. Okay, yes, this is the perfect center. I predicted correctly. So now I am just going to block this off. If I could see, I should probably make some torches. Why, why did you let the zombie in, you stupid Molly? Stupid Molly. Typical of Molly, that is. That doesn't look perfectly centered, but apparently it is. Like, why does it just not lock it anymore? Oh well. <laughs> right, let's get rid of this. This is ugly. I guess. And now we can do the walls. <laughs> that works. So now, once I've got a chair, this should classi be classified as a house. Correct? Yay! So now, in the day he should move in here <sighs> right now where am i gonna put my cave system I, should i align it perfectly with this and just move the uh, workbench and chair 
I feel like that's the best idea. But I could also have it. Yeah, actually, I think I am going to have it here. Uh, nah, nah. I, I think it'll be best to be able to go straight up, so I'll move these. I keep changing my mind. Right, I'll move these there. Preferably I'd have some rope, so I think I'm gonna wait until I find a cave before I do an actual strip mine. Um so that I can get some rope and make it properly without platforms and making it more annoying on myself. So I think for now I'm just going to kill loads of mobs during the night. And then in day I'm gonna go find a cave system. Oh, oh I thought that was a fallen star. Not that I uh, use the fallen stars because I'm not a mana person, but <laughs> that's why I really don't care about the mana being partly cut off on the edge um, because uh, I use uh, games in windowed mode, meaning that there's a slight cut at the top, meaning that I have to compensate at the sides. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I'm doing well for my first night, <laughs> maybe, probably not really, but oh well. well I'm just going to centre everything around here instead of having like a sky tower and mine completely separate. I'm just going to have this as my centre of operations. I seen some copper down here though. Oh no, was it just stone? Actually, I should probably just bring some torches up. Yeah, it was just stone crap. I'm offended. Someone on Discord just messaged me regarding the series that this is. Um, so you know, I'm gonna get bored and the sad thing is that he's probably right. I always end up getting bored of all of these series that I do. Is it series or series for plural? Like a series just plural by itself. Hmm. Top 10 questions that scientists still can't answer. So I'm gonna slightly move this torch here. I think that'll be better. Yeah. That's good enough. Let's see what Molly says. Cool. More information that I already know. Surprise, surprise there. Once it comes to bosses, I'm probably going to ask him for help, not going to lie, because I don't really know anything about the story. I just rely on friends for that. Um, I'm just into the exploration side and stuff like that, even though I'm not exactly very good at exploring. <laughs> I'm still aware the longer that it lasts, I suppose. If I knew everything, then it would get a lot more boring, a lot faster. So. No, you shall not kill my friend. Even though he is not my friend, he is a very annoying person, but... So well. Is he gonna hurt me? Okay, yes, he is going to hurt me. I did. I thought they were passive, but I guess not. I am pro 
probably going to die for the first time here. Yep. Oof. Why is there still like ages for respawn in single player? Like I thought that was just a multiplayer thing. Also, why did I have to spawn up there? That is very annoying. I guess for now I should just... Oh no, there's a bummer ghost. How great. I thought that was in the expert mode thing, but apparently that's in normal mode now. Die. Thank you. Now I am going to slightly finish off the house, I suppose. I'll give the NPCs a bit of room. <laughs> I know that they don't even need that much room, but I'll get it anyways because I'm a nice human being. So yeah, I should grow some trees back before I run out of wood inevitably. Actually, wait, I'll just place that back and just move the trees slightly further. Could you get out of the way? I guess not, because you're on the moon. Oh, so now you get out of the way. You see something threatening and you move out of the way, but when you see me... Oh, it wasn't because you were in the way, it was because of the dirt. That makes sense. I apologise, Marty. Yeah, it was Marty, not Marty. Let's get rid of all of these dirt. Annoying walls. I don't know why I'm getting all this when I'm probably not going to use any of it, but oh well. <laughs> off the uh, couple houses that I've added for other NPCs and then we'll go try and find a cave. Oh I'll quickly mine this tree though. <laughs> Cheaper to make a table or just a workbench? Hey. It's only too cheaper, I might as well just use the workbench. It's more useful. to be on the safe side also I do want to quickly hide this there we go that looks nice all right uh, this does not look nice though nor do 
those days. Okay, and now I'm seriously going to go exploring. I'm not going to go mine these trees, despite how tempted I am, because I need to go exploring. I'm not going to mine that tin, but I am going to go in here. Hell yeah. Let's go. I really just want some rope, but oh, rope will be very useful. Oh, there is a chest there that I ignored. Just about time to check. Bottles, not so useful. Recall potions, I'll keep for now unless I find a magic mirror. Iron's useful. Oh, rope! I didn't notice the rope somehow. <laughs> Been complaining about rope for ages, and then when I finally find it, I completely forget about it. I don't notice it. And the umbra I'll bring, that's useful. Usually I just find lead, so see an actual iron's pretty nice. Not got much rope, so I will have to try and avoid it if I can, but some nice not some nice, some nice stuff. Um more rope, yay. I'm not gonna bother with sorting my inventory anymore. Herb bag. What, what did I get from opening that? I didn't see me getting anything, but I'll just ignore that for now, I suppose. Why, why can't I place a torch here? Okay, I can now. There's a lot of chests here. Wait, did I just duplicate that? Okay, oh, I'm getting seeds. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, so I am getting stuff. I'm just not seeing it. How come there are so many chests here? Oh, I shall put some. Oh crap.